everyone and welcome to the Voice of the Prophet Ministries. My name is Prophetess Janelle and if you are following us on Facebook, thank you for joining and if you're a returning subscriber or if this is your first time watching on YouTube, thank you for coming along as well. And so first of all, I hope you're having a blessed day. I hope you're having a blessed evening or a blessed night or a blessed afternoon. Whatever time of day you're watching this, um, I hope you're having a good day. The Lord is prospering your way. And so today I just want to leave this quick word. It won't be long. Um, but, uh, I believe as prophets, we just have to speak whatever the Lord tells us to speak. And so the Lord deals with me heavily with leadership, um, and people who sit in that leadership authority. And so I remember back, um, when, when the, our former president Trump was in power and the Lord began to show me what was going to happen with him and how they were going to impeach him. And after the first impeachment, impeachment hearings, it didn't go through. And he began to speak to me and tell me that they were going to try to impeach him again. I believe I put it out on Facebook, um, but I don't think I made a YouTube video concerning it. But then again, as we came into this new presidency, I hear the same thing again. I'm hearing articles of impeachment again and again. And so the Lord began to reveal to me it's going to happen again. Now, I cannot say um, exactly what would be the basis or what would be the charge or the premise for them coming against our current president, which is President Biden. I do not know. Um, I can't even say if it is justified or not. The Lord didn't reveal to me all of those details, but he did reveal to me that um, there will be articles of impeachment that are going to be drawn. How long it's going to take? I don't know what time was the time frame for me. I don't know, but I will say this concerning it. When we see these things happening, and I, I made a video on this before concerning those who sit in authority, those who sit in government powers, and how they act as gatekeepers, right? And how, you know, you got to understand something about those who sit in authority. As presidents and prime ministers and leaders and even councilmen, God is not looking for a pastor to be the president. God is not looking for a pastor to be the prime minister. If he wanted to call them into fivefold, he would have done that. But no, he called them to be in leadership. And so I think a lot of times we, we kind of look for that perfect leader, that leader to, to, to for us to always be on the same side. But you're never going to find that. And that's why, you know, even in the United States, we have Democrats and we have Republicans. And so even in the midst of that, we're not going to always agree. There's presidents have went by who may have been on the same party as you are. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to agree on everything and every legislation that they put out. But the main thing is, and this is what I firmly believe, and I won't move from this because the Lord has shown me this. The Lord is the one who put puts up these rulers in power. He's the one who puts sets of the authorities according to Romans chapter 13. He's the one who puts them up. And I truly believe that the Lord set this man, this current president, President Biden, in place for a reason. What the Lord has revealed to me, there are certain things that he, he would do, certain uh, laws and legislations that he would pass that maybe other presidents would not have done. And so God set him here for a reason. Now, again, am I saying if you're watching this and, it, and, and this is already um, happening, this is already conspiring, am I saying that whatever charge it is, is not legitimate? I don't know. You know, like I said, the Lord did not speak to me concerning the details of that matter. But what I do know is that God put this man there for a reason. And when it's time for him to come down, when it's time for him to be removed, God will be the one to allow that. But in the midst of it, we have to understand what's going on and we have to see further than what is our political views or our, um, our belief systems, you know, um, or our, our, our ideology, our ideology. We have to look past that. We have to really see what's happening because the Bible says that, you know, a kingdom divided is, um, against itself can't stand. And it's really showing us, and I believe this is what the Lord is speaking, it's really showing us the place where America is right now, that we are truly divided. We have not always been on the same side um, as a nation, as a country. Again, that's why we have had um, civil wars. That's why we have two parties. Everybody does not agree on everything. But the place that we are now, that we're coming into, that we've seen from 2020, this nation is truly divided. And united we stand and divided we fall. And so if you're watching this and you're listening from another country or if you're in the United States of America, this is what I would say. I would say not, don't let's not judge. Let's not prejudge. Let's not pretend like we know. Let's just pray for America. Pray for unity because there is strength in unity. When we are divided against ourselves, we leave ourselves open and vulnerable to the enemy, both spiritually and naturally. And so, you know, I don't ever 
condone speaking against any magistrate and against any president or prime minister. If there's a word the Lord wants me to release, I would do so. Um, but he knows best. He sees all. His eyes know how to judge. His eyes know how to put one down and place up another. So it's not our job to do that. You know, understand? So um, I just pray. Continue to pray for our leadership. Continue to pray for those in power. Continue to pray for those who have to make these heavy decisions and continue to pray for America that we will come together as a united force. We will not be divided um, within ourselves so that we can stand and, and may God continue to keep, have mercy and bless these United States of America. So people be blessed and have a great day.